Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, it's minus three here in my part of the UK. You can probably hear around me the birds and the cars moving. So I want to just describe what I'm seeing uh, because I'm outside. So the first thing, of course, is uh, the very white pavements. In American English, we call them sidewalks. They're glistening. They're silver. Uh, White. You know, uh, just on a separate point, out of respect for older people, we never say they have grey hair. We always say they have silver haired. Oh, I know that man, the silver haired man that uh, walks on the street, for example. So, getting back to what I'm seeing, uh, the, the pavement is kind of glistening, white, silver. Uh, I can also see leaves on the ground which are frozen on top of the pavement. So I can see that they're brown, but they're covered in a and a nice sheet of frost. So it's very frosty. Uh, I'm looking at some parked cars. I can't see inside them because uh, they're sparkling, just like the inside of the freezer, you know? And if you touch them, well, if you touch a car, <laughs> you get into trouble. But if you touch the inside of a freezer or if you touch a, a car while it has ice or frost on the top, your finger might stick. So it's never a good idea to do that. Um, as I'm walking farther down my road, I can see that the roads are a bit clearer and there's buses uh, whizzing past which show no sign of ice, with a very proud sign saying, now electric. So it's clearly it's a, a bus which has been uh, remodeled for our uh, views of the environment. Electric cars and electric vehicles now are very fashionable uh, because of climate change. Um, so I'm just... I'm just walking on down here. I'm just very aware of a policeman uh, on the right-hand side, standing outside a house. If I'm not mistaken, he looks like he's armed. If someone's armed, it means they're carrying a gun. It's the same words as having two arms. You know, the R is silent in the middle. But it's a bit strange to see a, a policeman with a gun here. Uh, I don't know quite what's been happening. What caught my attention is the fact that he's dressed a little bit differently from other policemen because he's wearing a very bright fluorescent jacket. He has a different hat and he seems a little bit bigger. Well, they're all big, aren't they, policemen these days? They're not what they used to be. I don't think many of them could run very far. Anyway, yeah, I'm sure that's a gun I saw there. I didn't want to stare, so I just quickly hurried past. But I know that in that apartment there's been some difficulties in the last few days, so I don't know what's what's happening there. Um, anyway, oh, people. Right, so there's some people there, and uh, they're all very, very heavily clothed. Jackets, jumpers, hats, gloves. Um but there's also a boy wearing shorts. I don't know why they do that. Some of the younger people, they don't feel they need to wear heavy clothes, but they must be freezing, but I think it's more of a of a testament to the amount of alcohol they've consumed last night. Or maybe they're just going to the gym, but either way, it's not a good idea to be out in these temperatures uh, without being properly clothed because if you fall or if you have an accident, you, you can get into serious, uh, serious uh, trouble. But of course, people here, 
especially in the northern part of the UK, they're quite hardy, sturdy people. You know, they're quite big and strong. They have to be because uh, living in this kind of environment is, is very difficult for everyone. So, yeah, it's a very hard, hard way of life in the winter. But we're not even in the winter yet. It's still autumn. Right, so I'm approaching the end of my road. So there's not so much silver or white frost. Uh, there's a lot of leaves on the pavement reminding me that we're still in autumn. I'm walking past a huge, very long hedge where all the leaves are brown. Oh, that's from a song, isn't it? All the leaves are brown. Do you remember what song that's from? Yeah, it's Mamas and the Papas, California Dreamin'. I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> if I did, I think the rest of the birds would fly away. The sun is there, and uh, it's just popped out from behind a cloud there, although the sky is very, very blue. Um, and now it's shining, but it's still very, very cold. Minus three, as I mentioned. Uh, the traffic's going to get louder just in a second as I take a left onto the main road because I'm going to buy cat food. My cat decided again yesterday that the food I gave him, he didn't want any more. So I'm going to get him more of his favorite food. Uh, these days, he's very particular. Uh, it has to be fish, it has to be fine flakes of fish, it has to be moist. Yeah, you know cats, those of you who are cat lovers, you know that cats just decide at certain moments, that's it, I want something different. And then we have to rush out and obey them. Uh, it's a little bit strange. Okay, so I'm now seeing the skyline at the end of my road. Okay, so there's a mixture... First of all, uh, before I look to the skyline, there's old Victorian walls, uh, and there's a industrial park where I usually have my coffee. So there's a mixture of old and new here, and uh, I'm walking past a college as well, a very old Victorian wall, but a very modern building. And the skyline, I'm seeing churches, an observatory, more churches, apartment blocks all pushing up into the distance. And behind that, there's mountains with uh, electricity pylons sitting like proud soldiers on the mountain. Or maybe I should say standing like proud soldiers on the on the mountains uh, there's no signs of any Christmas decorations on this street but I'm about to walk into a into a shop so it's not a supermarket I'm going to today it's one of these shops that sells everything it's mainly a hardware shop hardware shops sell tools they sell uh, some gifts as well but it's the kind of place that uh, historically were men's shops, you know, they sell tools and plugs and bathroom equipment, you know, the things that uh, you would see men going to buy. But um, they also sell other things as well, like uh, animal supplies, and they even have a little market in there for food but it's all frozen food, so nothing fresh. So, um, yeah, it's uh, a hardware store, but also they sell gifts and these things, so they, that's where I'm going to go to get my little cat his food. Uh, next to that is a big supermarket. I need to buy cheese, actually, so if I can't get it in the hardware store, which is really weird to say that because hardware stores shouldn't sell cheese uh, but they do have a little food aisle as I mentioned I'm sure I'll probably get what I want in here uh, yeah so I'm just outside already I'm seeing the Christmas tree Santa and three kids singing it's not even December yet honestly although I'm just as bad 
because I've already started to put up my Christmas decorations. Um, right, so I'm walking through a huge car park, looking in the window of this hardware store. The cars are all very, very grey. Uh, there's a trolley park, you know that place where you leave the trolleys for the supermarkets there? Uh, covered in ice and uh, just reminding me that everything here is very, very cold and uh, people of all shapes and sizes and colours walking past me here reminding me of the diversity of the beautiful place where I live and uh, I'm looking in the window of the supermarket here before I finish the podcast I can see that amongst the tools plumbing bathroom suites and uh, flat packed things that they sell uh, there's also uh, Christmas decorations and many of them in fact in there uh, upstairs Christmas arts and crafts stationery toys outdoor leisure downstairs dining kitchen appliances plants tableware uh, so yes, uh, it used to be very much a man's store, but now it's a store for everyone, I think. And there we are. So I'm just going to go inside, buy my little kitty his food and some cheese, and then hurry home. So I hope you've enjoyed this today. Let's talk again soon and uh, see you all. Bye.